Connor Harding, what a game for him. 17 points tonight. Really broke out uh, in a major way for BYU in this game. Here's his conversation with Spencer Linton. Connor, much needed bounce back win for BYU basketball following the loss against Boise State. What did you learn on that loss on Wednesday to make you feel confident about uh, your effort and ultimately the result today? And at the very start, we were on attack. I think the hero of the game, I'm going to say it right now, is BA. Um, he made amazing passes, made defensive plays. It's just, <laughs> it's just uh, my fault and AB's fault. We got him in uh, foul trouble, or he would have been player of the game. So I'm really proud of that dude. How he responded, he got big steals, made big time passes, and it's not showing up on the stat sheet. But as a basketball player, I know what he did. Utah cut it to eight points early in the second half. Very animated timeout with Coach Pope. What was said there, and what changed after that? Yeah, the biggest thing, he was just calling us out, especially me. Uh, I let Timmy score, I think, five points, four points, just like boom, 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 after holding them to, to one. And he's a heck of a player. So if you get him going, um, then you're in for a long night. And so he's just telling me to respond if I wanted to play. Like, And so I went out there, and we responded as a team. You got four consecutive stops defensively after that timeout. Uh, you had some made buckets. You scored 17, career high for you. Uh, why did you feel like things went so well for you tonight, offensively specifically? Uh, I, again, I give credit to the point guards um, for getting downhill. And, you know, B.A. hit me across court for three. And then the next one, Matt hit me open under the hoop. And so it's those guys just making plays. And finally, the ball went in for me tonight. So it was a good night. Where does the energy come from in a stadium that holds over 19,000 yet only has a couple of hundred fans here? Um, the energy comes right over there on the bench. We have Big Rich. We have, you know, Wyatt, Jesse. Uh, Cam, just our whole entire bench, and we listen to that side over there. That's our first team, and so that's where our energy comes from. When you look at the defensive game plan and, and what you want to do against Utah, they obviously have some length, like USC has, like Boise State has, teams that have caused you problems. What did you do differently to kind of counteract that? I think the biggest thing is we just got to the second and third side, so they'd be have to be running out from bottom. Um, to get into a ball screen and then we'd turn it and then we'd attack again. And that's just the biggest thing for us. That's our biggest challenge because we're so good. We can get something on the first side. It's not always the best look, but the biggest thing is just getting the ball going side to side and then attacking at the right moment. You get San Diego State next on the road. Uh, what's the early game plan for San Diego State? Uh, we're just focusing on this game, <laughs> but I can tell you one thing. I'm 0-2 against them, so I can't wait to play them. I'm getting trash from Coach Pope about going too long. Congratulations, Connor, on a yeah, career high. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mark Pope.